Hello Capricorn souls, welcome to your reading. I am so grateful that you are here. My name is Nikki and I use my clairaudient and channeling abilities to help people find the magic within. If you're new here, welcome. I channel messages from creative expression such as movies, books, and music, and I'm excited and honored to be doing this reading for you today. For this series, I will be channeling messages from Elvis songs. I was inspired to do this series because a couple of weeks ago I went and seen the new Elvis film with my grandpa in the theater and I absolutely loved it. I learned a lot of things about Elvis that I didn't know before as well. He passed away when he was 41 or 42 years old and he was very much controlled by the music industry. And it was really sad to watch this unfold on the screen. But on a positive note, he also has a lot of light messages within his music, and I wanted to use this as an opportunity to honor Elvis Presley and to bring some messages to you, Capricorn, at this time. So how the reading will work, I will use a Spotify playlist called This is Elvis Presley. I will let Spirit choose the song, I will channel the lyrics, and then I will do an intuitive card reading to get some additional messages. So let's see which Elvis Presley song has a message for you, Capricorn. We have Bridge Over Troubled Water. So I'm going to go channel the lyrics from that song and I will be right back, sit tight. Okay, Capricorn, here are your channeled lyrics from the song, Bridge Over Troubled Water. Sail on, silver girl, sail on by. Your time has come to shine. All your dreams are on their way. See how they shine. One more time. Sail on, silver girl. Sail on by. Your time has come to shine. All your dreams are on their way. See how they shine. Now let's see what your cards have to say. First deck we're using is the Work Your Light deck. Thank you, Spirit. What are your additional messages for my Capricorn souls? Mintaken, longing for home, belonging, the original light workers. Next deck we're using is the Fairy of the Oracle deck. Thank you, Spirit. What else? Believe in magic. Open your eyes and see the magic that's all around in nature. The fairy of the northern light says, you are part of nature, so you are magical too. Next we have the keepers of the light deck. Thank you, spirit. What else? Charity, prayer and contemplation, connect with heaven, ask and you shall receive. And your final card will come from the Power Affirmation deck. Thank you, Spirit. What are your final messages for my Capricorn souls? I am at peace. Divine peace and harmony surround me and dwell in me. 
I feel tolerance, compassion, and love for all people, myself included. Okay, Capricorn. Let's reflect on your lyrics here. Sail on, silver girl. Sail on by. So with that energy, there's this energy of being in a peaceful state. I'm drawn to I am at peace from this card. That is the energy that is coming up very strongly from those lyrics. Sail on, silver girl. Sail on by. So this is like staying in a peaceful place no matter what is going on in the world or with what you are experiencing. Spirit is saying to choose peace no matter what, to just sail on by. Because on the back here it says, Divine peace and harmony surround me and dwell in me. So when you make the conscious decision to exert your free will to choose peace, that peace and harmony literally surrounds you and dwells within you because that is the choice you are making. I feel tolerance, compassion, and love for all people, myself included. So if you have found that you've been having some difficult experiences with people in your life, Spirit is saying to practice tolerance, compassion for the people you're dealing with, but also including yourself into the equation. Peace is really being emphasized from spirit at this time, Capricorn. Your time has come to shine. So spirit is showing that there is a unique way that you have, Capricorn, in handling conflict. You have a resiliency with this. It's actually one of your superpowers. You have a very good ability to neutralize energy. And when it comes to conflict, I do see that there is a tendency to kind of shy away from that because people don't like conflict. But I see that spirit is trying to help you see that there is a better way to view conflict, that you can use it as an opportunity to shine. Your time has come to shine. Now, this is also in regards to things that you are passionate about, such as acting, writing, photography, something creative. Your time has come to shine with that. But also, in these difficult experiences that you're having with other people, perhaps in some relationships, you're being given the opportunity to shine with these things as well, to show how awesome of a peacemaker you are. Now that does not mean to put up with behavior where people are putting you down or belittling you. This is an energy of not taking things so personally, diffusing energy, neutralizing it, and responding instead of reacting, being tolerant, having compassion, for those in your experience is what I'm feeling very strongly. All your dreams are on the way. See how they shine. So there's kind of an initiation process going on here, and it's stemming from your, your personal relationships. Spirit is bringing these experiences to you to see how you will respond. Will you choose peace? Or will you choose to let the experience rattle you so much that it causes an explosive reaction? Because you have very big dreams that are manifesting into your life right now and showing that you can shine no matter what life throws at you. That is what is bringing these dreams that much closer to you. All your dreams are on their way. See how they shine. So 
what is going on within us will always be reflected out here. So as you shine, you will see a reflection of that shine in your reality. It will be reflected back to you. So it's your time to shine and your dreams manifesting into your life, see how they shine as well. Because that's you stepping into your power. It's you embracing who you are. It's you choosing peace. Because when we are at peace with the world, magic happens. And I'm being drawn to believe in magic. Open your eyes and see the magic that's all around in nature. The fairy of the northern lights says you are part of nature, so you are magical too. So these dreams that you have, spirit is saying to really truly believe that they are possible for you. Believe in the impossible. And there's also something very interesting about being out in nature while thinking about your dreams. So I'm also being drawn to Nick Takken here. Longing for home, belonging, the original light workers. So you may have had a sense of feeling lonely, of wondering you when you will align with other light workers. And when this says the original light workers, this means that you were one of the very first volunteers to raise your hand when the universe sent out a call for help and you stepped right up. So because you have been holding the light for the rest of us for so long, it's time for you to experience the, the joys and the rewards from that. So I'm being drawn to how the gal on the card is sitting alone. She's sitting out in nature, but just kind of like pondering, wondering where the other light workers are. And spirit is saying to believe, to believe that you are aligning with them to believe that your dreams are manifesting, but there have been some karmic cycles that you have been breaking, but I'm seeing that the time is coming where a lot of us light workers are breaking out of that. So I feel very strongly that you were, or some of you, they're having me correct that here, some of you were in the first wave of volunteers. I was in the second wave of volunteers. So I have so much appreciation for those of you who came to earth first to hold the light and navigate through some of the most dense energy you could possibly navigate through. I'm being shown two light workers that were actors in the 90s. One is the young lady who played Denise on the Cosby show and the other one was River Phoenix and River actually died at a very young age but what was interesting is that they went on I believe it was the Phil Donahue show and they were speaking out about vaccines and they received so much ridicule for what they were trying to express. They were put down because of their appearance. Like this clip is on YouTube. I highly encourage, recommend you to look this up because both of them are light workers. And the way that they were treated on that show, it shows you how dense the energy was in the 90s and how they were holding the light, having to navigate that. They were some of the original light workers, okay? They were doing their best at that time. They were just waking up. So they were trying to spread truth and to let the world know what was really going on. But because they had to work through that very dense energy, they held the light for the next waves of volunteers. And I am so, so grateful to all of you who were the original light workers who came here and have been holding the light like they have been for that long. So I am I'm so so grateful because it really did help the next wave not have to deal 
with as difficult things. I won't lie. I have gone through some very difficult things as well, but I definitely don't feel that it is as dense as what the first wave of volunteers went through. So thank you for that, okay? Um, but the work that you have been doing, the light that you have been holding, Spirit is saying believe that your uh, miracles are manifesting, that your dreams are manifesting, because we have charity here, prayer and contemplation, connect with heaven, ask and you shall receive. So what is it that you truly want? Your angels, your guides, they're saying to get very clear, very specific on what it is you want, because the energy that we are in right now, we're manifesting very, very easily. So it's your time to shine. All your dreams are on their way. See how they shine. Ask for what it is you want and you shall receive it. Your rewards, your dreams are coming in for the light that you have been holding for so long, Capricorn. I'd like to open up my clear audience and see what else I can hear from spirit. Thank you. Some of you have made the decision to walk away from something. I'm hearing very loud and clear, walking away. What else do you want to say about this spirit? Thank you. I'm hearing ridicule. Um, I'm seeing some of you have put your foot down and you are not allowing other people to mistreat you anymore. I'm seeing there has been like a final straw um, and you're done. I see that you are walking away and you're not looking back. Like you're you're ultimately, there, there's there been a very powerful shift in your solar plexus chakra. As I was talking about this, my stomach actually like made a noise. So there is something here with your solar plexus chakra that the energy has shifted and you have taken your power back by walking away from somebody who was belittling you or putting you down. Now, with the I am at peace card, it's like also this energy of being at peace with that decision. And I know on the back it does say, I feel tolerance, compassion, and love for all people. So it's also like this energy of not tolerating the behavior this person projected at you but having a tolerance for who they are as a person but not allowing it to affect you anymore like having compassion for them because you now understand hurt people hurt people but you don't want to put up with that anymore and you're walking away is what I am seeing and that's very very beautiful because when you walk away from something that no longer serves you you make space for something even better to come into your life, Capricorn. What else, Spirit? Thank you. There's also something about retracting your energy from something. I'm seeing that some of you have been having interactions in the astral realm with somebody. And this is somebody you've only interacted with in the astral realm. You haven't been interacting with them in the physical, but I can see that this connection has also kind of left a draining energy on you. And I see a lot of you are retracting your energy from this person, whoever it is in the astral realm. What else about this connection spirit? Thank you. okay, this may have already happened or it's about to, but you're going to be shown the truth. You're going to witness something in the dream world or in the astral realm, the truth about this connection with this person. This could be a karmic pattern that is being revealed where once you learn it, you're going to be like, okay, I'm retracting my energy now because I do not want to keep perpetuating this negative energy but it's like also there's an energy of sending love beaming love to this person 
having compassion for them, but knowing your own worth. So this is just so interesting that you can experience this in the physical world and also in the astral realm. It's pretty crazy. But it's like emotions in the astral realm are no different than they are in the physical, like when it comes to relationships. And this connection is very, very strong. But I'm seeing there has been like some hope of wanting to meet up in the physical and that hasn't been happening. Um, so spirit is saying one of the best things you can do is retract your energy. And if you have found that that's been hard to do, there's going to be something that is revealed to you in the dream world, in the astral realm, the truth, and it's going to give you what you need to retract. Okay. What else spirit? Thank you. I'm also hearing, listen to respond. So it's almost like having conversations with people. But what I'm seeing is someone will talk and the other person will not really hear what the other person is saying and they will just leap into a discussion of their perceptions, their beliefs, their mentality. They're not really hearing what the other person is saying. So there's something here about communicating clearly, but also holding space to really listen to what someone else is saying. Because I'm seeing there are some miscommunications, misunderstandings happening because one or both parties aren't truly listening to each other and it's like just res listening to respond with what they have to say not really commenting on what the other person is saying not really hearing what the other person is saying so listening and communicating is very very important at this time spirit is saying to really listen to what someone else is saying all right any final messages for my Capricorn souls? Thank you, Spirit. I'm being shown the Queen of Cups tarot card with a lot of clouds around her. So they're pointing out some cloudiness in terms of your emotions and how you feel. So journaling out your emotions will help you get clear on what you're really feeling and help you to process and get them out. Because if the emotions stay trapped in the body, they can manifest in very painful ways. So honor all of your feelings, especially with this new moon in Leo that we just had. That is the biggest message this new moon is bringing. Honor your feelings. And don't put up with misbehavior from other people. Hold your head high and choose peace. But don't allow other people to belittle you or walk all over you is what I'm seeing. Communicate how you feel and know when to cut your losses with certain people because I do see a lot of walking away. I see a lot of retracting energy and it's because you're being shown the truth about some very difficult situations. But the good news is your dreams are literally manifesting. So continue to hold the light Continue to choose peace. Stand up for yourself when you need to, Capricorn. And know that this is a very opportune time to manifest anything you want. So ask her what you want and graciously receive it. All right? That is all that I am seeing. Those are the messages. If your reading resonated, if you enjoyed it, please be sure to like, subscribe, comment down below. 
I am excited and honored to have done this reading for you today. If you liked any of the decks of cards I used, I'm linking those in the description box down below as well. I also do a podcast called the Slumber Party Massacre Podcast with four amazing women, my sister Lacey, Rebecca, Carly, and Heather. We talk about horror movies. It's a lot of fun. If that's something you're interested in, I'm linking that in the description box down below as well. Thank you so much for being here. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I will see you on the next one. Bye.